Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to our first episode of Cigars, Beers, and Sports. It is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cigars, Beers, and Sports. I'm one of your hosts, Trey Verdejo. DJ Beautiful Perfection. What's going on, big homie? You good? You good? I'm good, man. Tell them a little bit about what, what we got in store for CBS, man, for Cigars, Beers, and Sports. Man, we bring the monotony of podcasts. We want to change things, things up. up. You know, you know, we talked about doing something like this, and I'm just glad we did it. Yeah. We we stuck we st- stuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. I can't wait. Yeah. We gonna keep, we do we next gonna year. keep going. You know, we're gonna keep going. You know, like Jay Z said, the genius is not quitting. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter what. So. Build and destroy. Absolutely. Build and destroy. Welcome to episode 13 of Cigars, Beers, and Sports. What it is. What's good? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Let me, um, you know what I mean? Clean my hand. I don't know, I don't know where this nigga been at. You know what I'm saying? Word. Good word. Yeah. Shit, you be doing all Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Word. Good week. Good week? Productively, you know? Oh. It's important. Hustlers always have productive weeks. We never have an off week. Ever. Ever. Right. All right. Facial hair signifies masculinity. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. yeah. So we know what that's about. But I I have seen a couple soft niggas with beards too though. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I got I gotta be honest. I've been I've been seeing I've been seeing a couple soft ass niggas with some beards. Yeah, 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 like what the fuck, yo. Uh, I remember one time at a job of mine, mm-hmm. my beard got sexually harassed. Huh? Speak on it. Yeah, let me explain that. <laughs> Sexually <laughs> harassed. I should have went to HR and filed a complaint. No, that so let me give you the story real okay. quick. So I requested some time off, some vacation. And I'm at, I'm at my... Actually, no, I'm not at my supervisor's desk. She's at my desk. I got a little chair next to my desk. Okay. She's sitting at my de- uh, at the chair. And she's like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, man, I need these days off. I see they're not available, but I really need these days off. Okay. And I kid you not, she went just like this. Okay, you get the days off. Boy, the Bacon Town Bully B in Uh-oh. the building. Okay. All right. The boys need an expert on some things, so they call oh. me in. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Episode 19, <laughs> baby. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah. Rayford, stand up. Uh-oh. Hold on, the original who? The original Hancho. The original oh. Hancho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. First, we so, do, let's talk about the games first. No, we're going right into it. The Redskins hired Ron Rivera. And then, no, actually, let me go back. So, you know that we're both NFC East fans. So, in the NFC East division right now, all of the coaches besides one have been to the Super Bowl. Philadelphia's coach has been to the Super Bowl. Dallas coach Mike McCarthy has been to the Super Bowl. Redskins coach Ron Rivera has been to the Super Bowl. I'm missing somebody. <laughs> the New York Giants have a new coach. He's been to the Super Bowl, but not as a head coach. What's the Yoni soap? Yeah, what's Yoni? Don't, don't you got some Punani soap? Let's get to the motherfucking yeah. question I'm going to ask. <laughs> don't you got some soap to clean the Punani? What's yeah, the that's, that's what that Yoni is. Oh, okay. Yoni. Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> the Yoni. <laughs> we got to hit it with the Yoni. Yoni, yeah. Like, uh, let's talk about my, it. That's my number one seller. Mm. It, um, it prevents... Um, that's the number one seller? My number one seller okay. soap next to the lemon grabs. The mm. females is loving it. So and it prevents, hold on, let's get, to, let's get to the prevent, because I want to hear about the prevent. Uh, it actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it levels their pH, mm. right? That's important. And um, it prevents any bacteria that shouldn't be there. Hey. Oh, that's important. Well, it's, it's, that's it contains. Really y'all be in places y'all shouldn't be. <laughs> so you definitely want to get those bacteria. I was like, actually afraid to put it out there, but when I yeah, put it out yeah. there, they wouldn't let me stop making that one. That's what it is. I'm, yeah, I'm, thank you for that education. Yeah. Any woman I meet going forward, you know about Yoni. <laughs> <laughs> you been using your yoni? If you don't use a yoni, it might not be right. One. Ten things, right? This is the ten things you should know about smoking a cigar from A to Z, mm-hmm. broken down into ten things. All right. right now, now let's get into the motherfucking sports. Because you know me as the best sports podcaster. Let's on get the into net. the sports. You know what I mean? One on the net. This brother here, man. Everything I say is becoming true. Mm. And now the fight that I can't wait to see that I'm gonna actually put some money on, 
Um, it's going to be this September. Mm -hmm. Lomachenko versus Tefimo Lopez. Who you got? Tefimo Lopez. <laughs> who you got? And who you putting money on? Uh, on Lopez. Who you got? Lomachenko? Yep. I got Lomachenko. All right, now. Who for money? But hey. I got the know? Lakers versus the Heat in the championship. I got the Heat coming out the East. So. Your shit should be the elephant in the fucking room. There we go. And when you fuck with my products, we'll talk, man. That's what happens, man. Like, she people listen. know, yo, people notice your beard, unfortunately, before they notice you, like, damn, your beard looks good. So, as you always know, we are the best motherfucking sports podcast yeah, 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 on the yeah, net. Yeah, yeah. And I am the best sports podcaster no, on the no, net. No, 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 always no. predicting champions. You stay losing. Always nigga. predicting champs. You stay We know that's losing. a lie. We know stay that's losing. a lie. We know that's a niggas who, niggas who watch this show know the no, real. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know, yo. they know who predicts the champion. I know last time we talked about, you know, what makes your beard grow. And I know you talked about a lot about going down on the females that help yeah. a lot. Yeah. That. I got a lot of DMs today about that. You got a lot of DMs about yeah, that? Right. Yeah. yeah. Did it help with your skin as well? It helps with the skin underneath. Uh, oh, underneath? <laughs> it helps with uh, the skin uh, underneath. I, oh, I, I, I got you. I, mean, I got you. There's, there's, a, there's a science to it. Okay. But you just can't oh, break be, it down. We got to listen. Just can't be we you got to use products with it too. So I want to reiterate that from the last episode. Just okay. because you doing what you're doing, you going down. That shit ain't. My man got knowledge. Right. You know. I know. How you doing, Courtney? I'm good. How are you? All right. I'm good. I'm good. And then you have a model here. Well, what's your name, brother? Jordan. Jordan. All right. Okay. So he has the pleasure of um, being the model as we do what we do. So, um, Courtney, before we get started. Um, what is this called? Like, what are, we, what are we about to do? Like, So today I'm just going to perform a basic beard treatment. Um, so that's just your basic cleanse, oil, and then finishing off with a beard balm. Okay. We're going to give you guys five tips mm -hmm. on how to maintain and grow a thicker beard. Right. Healthy beard. Healthy beard. Full beard. All right. So it's up to you if you want to listen. It's up to you. But we got some real good tips. And it's not like the tips is coming from people who don't have beards. That's that's a different thing. Like the other dude, some fat dude was trying to give me instructions how to lose weight. Mm. I wasn't listening. <laughs> you a fat ass nigga, so how can I listen to you how to lose weight? And you need to lose weight. Yeah, yeah, that's hustling yeah. backwards. So yeah, absolutely. listen to the guards. We out here talking about stuff that we know about that we deal with every day, man. I'm, I'm digging in my pockets. Let's see what's going <laughs> right on. Right there. Go ahead, smell that, brother. That's that blue magic. That's that blue magic, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm about to get up on that. Yeah, yeah, man, that vanilla tangerine. But because the thing, the reason why I love this, and I came out with it last year right in the summer, is because it has that fresh scent, you know, for the summer. You know what I mean? That vanilla tangerine, boy. That blue magic, boy. I got that. All right? All right? So this episode is sponsored by The Scrub. Again, I got you, Mumbles. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Look, we, we make we black make business. We make deals right here live. Black, you know what I'm saying? Business. Bam. I got your change in a second, Mumbles. Right. I got your change in a second. Keep the money in the family. Yeah, he done snatched it quick. So you, you just dropped a new show, man. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I dropped a new show called Hits. H-I-T-S, Hottest in the Streets. Basically what it is is me interviewing the hottest niggas in Baltimore. The first episode is my man, Lord Day. He got the hottest single in Baltimore City right now. You heard it, ooh, work it. I'm not going to sing it. But you sing, you kind of sing it a little bit. You said, ooh, that's work the name it. Of it. Ooh, work girl, it. Yeah, oh, know. how it go? I ain't going to sing it. Oh, okay. But you know, it's the hottest <laughs> song in Baltimore right now. It's on 92Q. It's everywhere. Man. Get to the shit, yo. So, sports. This is Black History Month. Still, this is still Black History Month. Talk to us, fellas. And I'm mad at a lot of y'all motherfuckers. Mm. For Damn, reason. my nigga, why you mad? I'm mad at a lot of these motherfuckers out here. Bro. Why? Fuck Tyson Fury. Oh, that they on his dick now? Yeah, like y'all like rooting for this nigga. Like, fuck Dante Wilder. I like Tyson Fury now. And I think by far what we're about to break down is going to be some of the best information you need to know about cigars. Because we're about to break. We done broke down. Flavors and scents and strong and soft and events. Now we're going to talk about different size cigars and why they those size and why they call them those size and things of that nature. Episode 10. 10. 
Man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's, get a, let's get a cheers for that. Yeah, we need a, yeah, we, that's our first milestone. You know what I mean? Bitch, you know what I mean? We got 10 in the pocket We got now. 10, we 10. That's what it we is. We would have had more if, you know, the bitch ass Rona wouldn't be around, but you know what I mean? True, true, true. back, true, though. True, 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 true. Tank Davis Bye. was victorious again. Can we get the um, applause for that, um, Mumbles? My man Tank. There we go. Had a devastating knockout punch. Yo. In the sixth round, he almost killed this motherfucker. Devastating. Woo! Caught him with that uppercut. Yo, he was out. Like, mm. he got the nigga out the ring. Mm. His knee was over here. His ankle was Ooh. over there. You know what it looked like? Mm. It looked like the Hearns and Martin Payne shit when, oh, when he did that uppercut. It was a real life motherfucking Hearns shit. That should remind me of our episodes, how I be fucking you up every time we talk about <laughs> sports. We hey, Joe man. here. All right, so better introduce yourself, yeah. brother, and uh, yeah. naming your podcast and everything that yeah, you do. Yeah, man. What's going on, guys? My name is Joe. Uh, my podcast is Let's Be Real Sports. Mm. Uh, you know, we kind of just talk about primarily football and basketball. Um, and um, we just touch on the hot topics that's going on today. My name is Denora Heron. I'm from North New Jersey. Okay. Okay. Brick City. Yes. Mm. All right, and what's, what's the name of your cigar lounge? The lounge is called Mina Cigar Lounge. All right, Mina Cigar Lounge, right? Yes. And address is? 6333 Bel Air Road, Baltimore, Maryland. All right, 6333 Bel Air Road. Oh, uh-huh. you know, the bed plays a part now if you take care of your shit. Right, 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 right. Women like to deal with your bed. They like, you know, it's a cushion for them. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? It tickles them down there. They get a little tickle, tickle. tickle. Definitely does. Okay, you okay, know, okay. You, you hear the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the giggles. You know the chills going up your spine and all that. Okay, okay. So, and their division is weak still, so they're gonna yeah, they gonna yeah, win yeah, that yeah, division. Yeah. So what well, now? Buffalo. I like Buffalo. I like Buffalo. I think they won hit one. I like Buffalo. Now I don't think they won hit wonder, man. I like I Buffalo, they and they picked one up one some one. weapons. Remember? They did. Yeah. So Buffalo, I, I like. <laughs> I don't to wax her, to her wax her shit? You think yeah. we should wax her? I never that shit. Nah, I ain't gonna wax her. I'd be scared if she now think about it. You know, y'all women, you know, y'all. Trim it. Shit. Trim it. Yeah, trim it. Trim it. You know what I'm saying? Trim it. You get angry on his now, you know? I seen one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, this, and this the fucked up part about it. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a dick ink on here, yo. I wanna go to that fight. They need to fuck Yeah, yeah, we need another we need another fight party. We need to trip. We need to open up the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. No sandwiches before the fight. Yeah, no sandwiches before the fight. Yeah, yeah. Metro. <laughs> Metro. So that brings us to our next. That brings us to our next tank fight. But we're gonna we're gonna sidebar real quick. So when tank fought in Brooklyn, New York, yeah. we don't know against. Um, <laughs> we, we heard about it. We heard yeah, about. We saw it on the big screen. He yeah, yeah, with a yeah. body blow. We was like, this, oh snap! <laughs> we were going fast. Like so we went to the fight, and you know we had a couple delays. It was a brona, but it was my idea to go get some fucking chop cheese sandwiches before the fight. You gotta and get chopped cheese when you're in New York. And we, and we no pulled up to the Brooklyn Arena. I thought it was like the garden where it's parking everywhere. We couldn't find no parking, no parking garage. We was ready to pay $100 to park. It's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? We can't breathe. Okay. What we got there? This is more Malcolm, less Martin. Okay. There's no disrespect to Martin Luther King, but we done with all that peaceful all shit. Right, let's get to this shit here, here yo, because... We, this is no doubt. we constantly, <laughs> constantly have arguments about this shit, you know? okay. Now, my man said that Carmelo was a Hall of Famer before he even left Denver. How many years was he in Denver? Seven. Okay. So, there's nobody who's in the Hall of Fame that only played seven years unless they were injured. Unless it was injured, there's nobody in the Hall of Fame that only played seven years. So, that's why I kept telling him. It, New York helped them. Yeah, so once again, you know, justice, we show how the justice system is. Again, they, they show you how the judicial system works. They show you how they feel about us. It shouldn't be a surprise, you know. Um, that money that they got, that ain't shit. You know, they think $12 million gonna make a difference for people being gone. That ain't it. Last episode with Courtney. Courtney, um... So men should get waxed. So just say it. And she was right. Thank you. Go ahead, finish your point. That's not gonna work. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not doing the waxes on our balls. No. Listen. Yeah. Now, but nah. 
Not not dead. Now, but no, you don't wax the ball. First of all, that's the missing right. It's you know your what? pubic area, pubic area, and then your oh. butt area for sanitation. Oh, right there, right there. Oh. She 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 that up. The butt area. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I know. Hey, mother, 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 when you do this episode, just put a big red paw <laughs> on yeah. that part. Yeah, but this is something new. Something new I'm doing. Um, I'm working on a whole EP. This is the first single, it's called Good God Again. I'm not a singer or rapper, I'm a creator. Yo, and before we move on to our topic, we definitely want to get into our sponsor. All right, one of, one of our sponsors for tonight, you know what I mean, is no other than uh, this brother who um, works hard with this company. He's out there pushing it every day, and it's called Beautiful Oils. <laughs> yeah. That's on January 24th. More information to come, make sure you guys, you know, Hit me up, follow our page. Uh, we're gonna be having a uh, flyers, ticket information pretty soon. It's Again, a unique event. Yeah, yeah, it's one on one. Oh, right, we ain't seen shit like this in Baltimore. Definitely not. So cigar puff and paint event. All right, yeah. cigar puff and paint puff. All right, and music by who? What? Beautiful perfection. Of all right, all right. We're gonna be doing yeah, what? Nineties and two thousands. Nineties and two thousands. You know what I mean? I you know. Yeah. So the draft about, occurred. Um, talk about who now. You, you know, uh, uh-uh. the Washington Redskins um had the number two pick. They picked hometown hometown hero Chase Young, who was considered the best player in college football. The Redskins picked him, and he is here to dismantle and wreak havoc on the NFC East. This is his last ring. This is it. No, he won't get another one. When next year. Yeah, I think you get one more. Like, they're gonna get rid of Kuzma, right. bring somebody it's up. It's documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I okay. think I think they're gonna win another one. They look, okay. they look too crazy. And Clippers, this is LeBron's last joint. This is LeBron. So if LeBron finishes with four, he's not gonna be better than Mike. To me, yeah, he's never to, gonna be better than Mike anyway. If he gets six, he ain't gonna be better than Mike. I don't know, man. But his Shit. numbers is crazy, man. His numbers is crazy. Yo, this nigga, Michael Jordan won Defensive Player of the Year. LeBron never won that shit. This nigga got 10 but we scoring gotta, titles. We got to adapt to He never lost the final. Never nah, went to a never. game seven. Yeah, he never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This nigga never going to catch Mike. So anyway, the game of the week. What's the game of the week? The game of the week this week? LSU oh, versus yeah. Alabama. Who Saturday. You got? I got LSU, man. <laughs> All right, I got Alabama. All right. Now, Tua, yeah, yeah, yeah. right now, they don't know if he's going to play yet. Who? So, Tua, he, he might I know they say he might play, but... Yo, Nick Saban is making that nigga play. He's playing right. with drugs right now. I got LSU on that one, man. <laughs> is it on the same line like sex sales? Absolutely. So when you when you go into a cigar lounge, you see a sexy lady smoking a cigar. I mean, it makes you yeah. want to smoke a cigar. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Absolutely. All right, all right, all right, all right. What the two. fuck is up with Philly? Says we got a Philly nigga here. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with Philly? I'll take, listen, okay, and I know what, what everyone going to say. No yeah. excuses, no excuses. So what? I don't care. Bruh, we've, had, we've used... Over five different offensive line sets. That's more than any other team in the NFL. We've had different combinations at offensive line. We when they say no excuse, they about to start five, crying. Four of my top five oh, offensive line. Tissue over there? When they four say no excuse, they about to start crying. Our top running back is gone. Oh. Our three star receivers is gone. Oh, what do you want the man God. to do out there? Oh. And Zach Ertz is gone now. Oh, oh, what do you want man. the man to but do? But he just, y'all just yeah. lost him. We need, what? We need some tissue, violin. yo. We need a mop. We need violin. We need a mop, yo. He don't want his ankles held like Dick Prescott. All right, let's get into our predictions. <laughs> predictions. <laughs> Dick Prescott. Yeah. What you got for the Super Bowl? <laughs> now, according to Vegas, they got the Chiefs, 5-1. Oh, right here. Yeah. Ravens, favorite, 13-2. 49ers, 7-1. Saints, Cowboys, and Bucks, 12-1. I already picked my Super Bowl. You already know who it is. So, who you got in the Super Bowl game, and then who you got winning? I got Lamar Jackson being the Super Bowl MVP. Against who, though? Tampa. That's my pick. No, my bad. Really? No, you, you want Tampa? New Orleans. This nigga's a hater, yeah. I'm going to Tampa. I'm going to go with it. You voted, my nigga? Of course. Of course. All of right. course, I voted. You know, it's very important, man, that, you know, for those who voted, you know what I mean? Especially right now, how. Today is Thursday. Election happened Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Still no president has been announced because they count in the votes. In Nevada. They count in the votes. Right. So that motherfucking means your vote is important. If your vote wasn't important, 
they wouldn't be stressed to try to take that shit away from you, man. But you know, let me let me let me do something that I know. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been watching. I saw Fat Joe do a little video about it a little while ago or whatever, and I, I just, just something that I wanna. I, I kind of wanna jump on that wave, man. So I, I just wanna congratulate you. Oh, congratulations! You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like we really gotta start uplifting each other and mm-hmm. giving each other props when you see somebody doing something right. I man. didn't see that clip. I like yeah, that yeah, yeah. Show when he was talking you know, about right. if that's your people's. You know, show them how to get money. You know, don't bag. don't be like I know how to get money, right. but I don't want to tell you. Let's all get money together, absolutely, man. So absolutely. I definitely want to jump on that wave. Yeah. You know what I mean? You a real good close friend of mine, man. So mm-hmm. I just want to let you know, man. I'm proud. To be your friend, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because well. I do call myself the beard whisperer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out here trying to save people's beards. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 you know what I mean? That's one, of them, that's one of them. You know what I mean? So, rest in peace to my uncle. I lost my uncle this week. Um, and, you know, he was a big influence on me. He definitely was a big sports guy. Last text I got from him was about the bum ass Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? So rest in peace to James Scale. That's my uncle. He took me to my first Michael Jordan game. When he told me that, man. Yeah, he he took me to my first Bulls versus. They were the Bullets then. Yeah, He took me to that game. So, you know, I love him to death. I'm definitely going to miss him. So rest in peace, Uncle James. Rest in peace, Uncle. We're about to give you five seconds of a moment of silence. Absolutely. Rest in peace, Uncle. Rest in peace.